All right, this is Rollo rolling through or something like that with another story for you. Um, this time I'm going to talk about Indonesia. Indonesia, which I call paradise. Paradise on earth. Amazing place. A.K.A. Instagram Central. If, if you've been there, you know. Any picture you need, snap it on Instagram. Bali will have you ready. So it's Instagram worthy all the time there. Anywhere you want to take a picture, nice islands and all of that. Um, and everybody wants to live in paradise. So when I call it paradise, it sounds amazing and it is like that. But there's another side to it. Meaning, you might say, oh, I want to live there all the time. But there's other things going on there. It is in what they call the ring of fire, which means it's in hell. Well, not, I don't know if to tell, but it's got earthquakes, tsunamis, um, maybe typhoons. And then the worst of all to me is volcanoes. And they have tons of them. So they will light you up, drop you like it's hot all day. Anyway. So, my story today is going to be about Indonesia, but it's not about the paradise part of it. We'll talk more about that. But I have so many stories there. Just traveling, there's all kind of things to do besides be on Instagram. Um, you can search for Instagram sites and how to get it. So, this, this one story, um, I was going to... 44 seconds. I was going to Instagram... That does not sound right. I was going to Indonesia and I was going to a, see a cave in Indonesia. And this cave, you have to drive a little bit far out. This cave is like you drop down like 30 to 100 feet and it's like you got to walk through all this mud in this tunnel. But before you get there, you know, you got to prep. It's like a nice drive there, like an hour, maybe two hour drive. And then um, they give you boots, they give you a helmet. The helmet that they gave me pretty much didn't fit my head. Um, I'm always told I have a big head, but I mean, you should see the helmet. I have some pictures. Kind of look like an ant, but it just definitely doesn't fit my head. Second, they give me these boots that are maybe two sizes too big for me. So my feet are like sliding all over. Um, which is not good either because we're getting ready to go in a cave so who wants to be in a cave but boots don't even fit I don't want to fall or break my leg or whatever so anyway we're going to this cave to see something and so I'm going to describe before we see it what we're going you got to drop 100 feet down somewhere between 30 and 100 feet down I, I might be making it more dramatic than what it is but it, it trust me it's dramatic enough when you definitely get to this this drop off i think it's 100 feet maybe it's 30 but 100 feet makes the story better but trust me so they they drop you down two by two and you got to go down this rope right so you come down this rope and this rope um like i said you have two people it's like in the u.s if you were going down this you would be like dropping down it's got this like all machine they push a button and it's like lowers you down you know whatever noise you want to make but you know you push it um you've been at amusement parts where they drop you down or pull you up so that's what you think you're going to be on so but here that's not what they have it's like a pulley system but it's got like one mechanic or machine piece that the ropes go in and i don't know how to describe it but it's kind of like a pulley system, but it is all manual. So what I mean by that is it looks like, well, it's not even what it looks like. They take, they have like on one side of the rope, it's like six or seven people pulling you up or pulling you down, letting you down. So you, so you feel like, you feel like they just grab these people off the street, you know, like, if it was a bunch of kids and my friends are like, hey, hey, you want to come help us? Can you lower these people down real quick? And it's on this branch. The branch, you know, it's like a tree. It's not even like 
it doesn't even seem like it's like this big thick heavy tree it's like the staff that moses has used to part everything that that's it's just on faith that's what you believe in it's going to hold you down and and let you go down there so it's kind of going through there and then you got all these guys like four to six lowering you down so if they let go of the rope it's over like you're gone I, it, no, no exaggeration. I think it's, I definitely think it's 100 feet down, but I'm not sure. And then I guess if they don't want to come get you, you're done too, because you just be down there. That, that's what it seems like to me. So anyway, um, one, I'm living to tell about it, so I must, I must have survived. But, you know, it's not for the faint of heart. In the U.S., <laughs> you definitely wouldn't be allowed to, to go there. It wouldn't get approved by anything. So you'd have to just have some friends doing it, and they still might get in trouble. You might get fined or something for trying to do it. So anyway, we get lowered down to the tunnel. You get all the way down to the bottom, and you got to walk through three feet of mud um, with my little slippery boots, which suck, but we do it. And then you got to wait your turn to get into this dark cave. And at the end of the dark cave, there's light that comes in through a hole. And if you're in there the right time, you get this perfect picture with the light and your silhouette, which is, you know, like your shadow or whatever, through the light. And you get these rays of light from the sun. So it's only worth it to go like maybe two or three hours out of the day. Some people can go later and you can kind of see the sky, but you're not going to get the light. So I think we went, it was like maybe 10, you know, we got down there and you walk. And by the time we got there, it's like 11, 1130 and you can see the light coming through. Such an amazing picture, definitely worth it. You know, debatable about the way you get pulled down and brought back up, because now they were pulling this back up with the same five or six people or different, who knows, um, manually, and we survived. Um, but at the end of that rainbow, like I said, was an Instagram worthy pic that um, you could actually see yourself on. So. Um, in the end, it ended up being worth it because just as I said, it's an Instagram worthy place in Indonesia. Um, all of it is, and we got a great picture. So I'll post it at the end of the story so you can see how I found the light um, at the end of Moses' stick that helped us get down there.